fish a boat and boat I read the key on my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Me and my neighbor Voting for labor Somebody say who We vote in the camera Comrades, good afternoon. Good afternoon to the dear people of constituency number six. We are here once again for the opening of our three offices in the constituency. A symbol of our rededication, our commitment, our appreciation for your support over the years. You have never left. You have remained labor. And for that, you deserve a wow wow. Wow, wow, wow! Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. The Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas does not take your support lightly, and he is once again seeking that support which you have given for the last 33 years. Constituency number six, we love you, we adore you, we hear you. We see so many of you here this afternoon to witness another significant opening and rally. We started in Newton Ground two years ago. Today, we are starting here and heading down to Newton Ground. Comrades, join us as we move down to Newton Ground this afternoon. Comrades, only labor can restore your country, your lives, your well-being. We did it before and we will do it again. The Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas is again the man for the job. Simply the best, the original. I therefore welcome you to another opening, a rededication of our service to the people of Harris to Newton Ground. Thank you for your show of support. And so we move right into the program. And in everything, we must give thanks, we must pray. And so we call on Heston Tweed to lead us in a word of prayer this afternoon. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love he the world that he gave us his son. Today we are here this afternoon for a very good cause. You know, in the midst of it all, one time we were disappointed, but God is still God. He knows just how to work things out. And I just want to let you all know, at times, God works in mysterious ways. You know, sometimes we don't get the, way, the things we want. But God knows. This is 2022. Who would have believed something like this would have happened? But God is God. So today, we're going to walk forward up to you because God is a mighty God. Father, today we give you thanks for this opportunity once again. 
that we are gathered here right on this ground. Lord, it was almost three years ago. And no one knows that this would have happened. But here we are this afternoon, officially opening of Constituency 6 office is all across the, all across the constituency. We pray, oh God, that you will continue to watch over this building, first of all. Lord, from all dangers. Lord, we know what the hearts of man are. But today, we are committing this building into your hands. We pray, God, that this building was used, Lord, for the good of what it is here today for in this constituency. So we are praying, oh God, all through the constituency, that your hand of mercy and protection would be over the buildings and over the people. Lord, that you will watch over them. I pray, God, that in this election season, that they would behave themselves and govern themselves heartily. That when the right time comes, Lord, that they will know just what to do. And so I pray, oh God, for our constituency representative, Dr. Douglas, here with us this afternoon. Lord, a humble man. Yes, at times, Lord, he has gotten criticism that maybe he justly deserved. And at times, Lord, he didn't deserve them. So we are committing into your hands this afternoon. That as he go forth in this election, yes, Lord, as the song said, simply the best. So, Lord, have your way this afternoon across the constituency in these offices. We pray for every family in this constituency, Lord, that you will continue to keep your hands upon them and that you will continue to watch over them. Lord, we pray that in this election season, Lord, it would be peaceful and it would be an election that is fair and just. Free from all intimidation, free from all injustices, free from all lawlessness. So Lord, I commit everyone here this afternoon into your hands. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jean. We will now sing the national anthem together. Oh, land of beauty, our country, where peace about thy children stand free, on the strength of will and love, with God in all the struggle, thank kids and me. But you sound like the true champions that you are in constituency number six. And we move on with the program. Next, we will have an item by Howard Lybrad. Howard Lybrad. Good afternoon to everybody. Dr. Douglas, I just want to tell you that this is your time. This is our time. This is labor's time. Right? There was a time you packed your dreams away, living in a shell, hiding from yourself. There was a time when you were so afraid, you thought you reached the end. But maybe that was then Now you are made of more Than your yesterdays This is your now And you are living in the moment As you look around You can't believe the love you see Your fears behind you 
Gone are the shadows in doubt That was then This is your now You had to decide If you're gonna play it safe I look somewhere deep inside And try to turn the tide and find the strength to take that step of faith. This is you now, and you are living in the moment. As you look around, you can't believe the love you see. Your fears behind you, gone are the shadows in the This is your now, and I had the courage like never before. Yay! You said it for less, but you're ready for more. Ready for more. This is your now, and you will live in the moment. As you, you look around, you can't believe the love you see. Your fears behind you, gone are the shadows in doubt. That was then, this is your now. Thank you, Howard. Thank you, Howard. Lord, labor, hot, 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 I'm sweating and all. <laughs> As we move on to the program, because we know we have to journey down to the other, the other offices, we will now call a young labor, Cutlin Farmers, do an endorsement. Cutlin Farmers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big yeah. up, big up. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, as stated by Mahatma Gandhi. Can I get a wow? Wow! Can I get a wow? Wow! wow. wow. A pleasant good afternoon to everyone. Today, it is my pleasure to highlight a man whose life work is the true te testament to this quote. The Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, Par yes. Parliamentary Representative of this vibrant Labour constituency. Right. He has elevated many of us out of our standard of living over the years, and as a young Labour, I am honoured to endorse the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas. Yes, yes, yes. As a leader, a hero, and a representative, yes. Dr. Douglas, we love you. And I would like to take this opportunity to ask all the constituents of constituency number six to give you that opportunity yet again to serve after the upcoming elections. Let us be registered, red and ready to rally with Uncle Doggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Comrades, ready? Yeah. Uncle Doggy is simply the best. Yeah. Simply the best. You simply the best.
Greetings to all of you gathered here this afternoon at the constituency office for the Labour Party in this number six constituency and here in Sadler's in particular. I want to recognize all of the executive officers of the branch of the St. Kitts Labour Party here this afternoon and all of my colleagues who are here with us as well. I want to thank in particular the stalwarts who are gathered here. Of course, stalwarts are not only those elderly, but those who are young as well. Because I can see here in this crowd young people who are stalwarts of the party here in constituency number six. I want to recognize, of course, all those who are joining us via the social media platforms here in St. Kitts and in the diaspora. Of course, we are here to open the Sadler's constituency office for constituency number six. And we want to make sure that we would be able to serve the interest of our people from these particular offices which are designed to ensure that you can be in touch with your representative not only in this village but in the other villages as well. And so although we do not have an office in Parsons, we expect that the, pass, the people from Parsons can come here and deal pay. And those who are in the neighboring community of Bellevue and Tabernacle can also meet me here from time to time. Over the last few weeks, we have been very busy in this constituency. We've had the opportunity to do our canvassing. And during those canvassing sessions, we have met hundreds of people so far, and we intend to continue that canvassing session. We would want to also thank the young people who have been leading the canvassing sessions here in Sadler's and in the other communities of this particular constituency for our campaign for 2022 election. We want to make it clear that we expect to bring a victory, not for the Labour Party, but for the people of this constituency, because we know that it is better with Labour at all times. This office will be open for business every single day. And even if I am not here, there would be someone here at all times to make sure that you can get an appointed time when I would be able to sit with you and hear of any complaints, any discussions, any ideas that you may have in terms of making our community and our constituency and our country better. We will be able, no doubt, to ensure that you are well served. In fact, this constituency is the only constituency that can boast of so many offices to serve the interests of our people. We are here now in Sadler's. In a few minutes, we will be in St. Paul's. And after that, we shall be in Newton Ground. Three constituency offices where the people of this constituency would be able to meet with their representative. And as she just said, Mary said, it is because we are simply the best. This is the constituency that has never, ever 
flirted with another party. This is the constituency that has remained firmly, firmly with Labour over the 33 years, not only of the 33 years that I have represented you, but for the 90 years of the party in existence. And you deserve a special wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. It's Labour only that can do that. I want to say that there is a seriousness about investing in the people of this constituency. We have brought you homes. We have brought you improvement in the standard of living. Our women folk, they have been empowered. No longer is there any man that can throw you and your children out of his house. Instead, you can throw him out because you are empowered as women of this constituency and of our country on a whole. But we want to empower our men as well. So in the next round of empowerment, our young men in particular will be provided with opportunities to own land and to own homes that they can be proud of and they can sustain their manhood. I want to make it clear that the education revolution will also continue. We were on a roll, you remember. Every single household today has at least one member, one graduate of a university or college. We have declared war on illiteracy here in our country and here in this constituency. No longer can ignorance be called as one of the features of our people here in this constituency. In fact, in case you don't know, we have sent our students all around the world on scholarships. And today, constituency number six remains the top constituency, the number one constituency that can boast of the largest number of medical doctors per capita. And it comes from right here in this constituency. We will continue to provide jobs for you. When they came into office, they shut down Kittishan Hill. Three hotels we were building there to provide benefits, opportunities for working, and opportunities for new career paths for our young people. Let them know that when we return to office after this election, we shall continue to build on the development promises that Kittishan Hill presented to our people. We are now about to see the full opening of the Ramada Hotel there in Hildens. All these were provided for our people because we knew that once we closed the sugar industry, we would have to provide alternative opportunities in jobs for our people. And so we say to the farmers as well, we will continue to empower you. You will continue on your farms. Those who were kicked off and moved from the capacity of farm and instead those lands given to people from outside, you will regain the opportunity for you to farm your land so that you can produce food for the benefit of our people here in this constituency and in our country on a whole. Finally, I want to say to you that you, the women folk and men who travel from this constituency, saddlers, dear pay persons, St. Paul's, Harris's, Lynch's, every day, to go to Bastyr. You know how much money that is taken from the meager salary that you're getting? That is why today and tonight I will emphasize again, you will have an immediate increase in the minimum wave to $500.
as soon as we take office. Your money is spent on bus fees. We want to make sure that you have the best quality of life and you have the best opportunity to earn a decent living. We will now end here as we move on to the next stop. This motorcade will move to St. Paul's. We will finally have the blessing of the office. We will have some refreshments. You don't have to stay here and take the refreshments. They are for the people in Sadler's who will not come with us. We go on to St. Paul's, refreshments are there, and finally to Newton Ground for further refreshment. All of this we are committed to do in the name of the Lord, the Almighty, because he sees over everything that we can do and everything that is possible. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, the Right Honorable. Comrades, you ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, we move on. of Jesus. Father and God, I come in the name of Jesus. Even now, Lord, we know your concern about every area of our lives. And first, before we bless the building, we want to bless this special, special, special man here, Dr. Denzel Douglas. Lord, we pray that you give him the needed strength, you give him more grace, you give him more courage. You are the lift of his head. And we ask that you cover him with the blood of Jesus. And so now, God, we bring the building in a 
special way this afternoon. We ask for the covering of this building, that, Lord, it will not be vandalized in the name of Jesus. And that, God, those who come here from time to time will recognize the need for the hour. And, God, you'll give them the wisdom when the people come to them, what to say and what they should do. And so, God, this office is used for a special purpose. Lord, you love the needy people, and this office is used for the needy people. And so, God, we ask for your protection even now, Lord Jesus. Cover the building all around from the roof. Blanket this building with the blood of Jesus. Not only the building, but the entire community. God, we just want to thank you for bringing us here for such a time as this. It's very timely. And Lord, you see all what is going on in this nation. But we declare total victory in the mighty name of Jesus. And we call it done by faith. Amen and amen. 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 By Mrs. Street. Like Lion, Labour Party with firm like Lion. Need somebody you can show only real Lion. Samal will be there in a tie.
You think me no hard do a new airport any time me a fly out Ah ah ah, when poor people cry out Labour party don't try out Cause me and my neighbour Voting for labour Voting for labor, 
Me and my neighbor. Me a child, me not sell out, me not buy out. Ah, 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 
a rumors, them them a lie out What kind of thing them a try out? Ah, you think me no war do a new airport any time me a fly out? Ah, all when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
out, me no buy out Ah, 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 rumors, them, them a lie out What kind of thing, them a try out Ah, 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 you think me no wah, do a new airport Any time me a fly out Ah, 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 when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Raise up your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
them a run up them But turn them G and my neighbor Hunting for labor Me and my neighbor Hunting for labor Somebody say what?
Manöber, Wotin für Löber. Mian Manöber. Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
in a buyout Ah ah ah, a rumors them, them a lie out What kind of thing them a try out Ah ah ah, you think me no war do a new airport any time me a fly out Ah ah ah, all when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
a fly out Ah 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 All when poor people cry out Labour party don't try out Cause me and my neighbour Voting for labour Voting for labour was well taken care of. To the young people of St. Paul's, some of you might have, have strayed away, but remember, there is only one party that cares about the people of St. Paul's, and that is the Sankis Nevis Labour Party. Labour has been good to all of us here in number six. Douglas has been good to us. When the People's Action Movement didn't want to give us any roads, it was Douglas and Labour who made sure that we in St. Paul's received roads. Remember, the People's Action Movement did not want to give us any school meals. They gave us school meals the last because we're from St. Paul's. Remember, it was Dr. Denzel Douglas who made sure that the people from St. Paul's, the people from Bacalan, were able to get loans and grants and grants and scholarships so we can go off to study. I myself, I'm a product of that. As you all know, I went to Taiwan to study because of Dr. Denzel Douglas and the Labour Administration. My mother is here in the crowd and she's saying to big up my brother because also Dr. Because Douglas assisted my brother and everybody else in St. Paul's. People of St. Paul's, we have no time to be ungrateful. We cannot be ungrateful. We cannot be ungrateful. 
We cannot be ungrateful to the right honorable Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas. Let me hear you say DLD. 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 In number six, we are voting the right honorable Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas. journey to Newton ground having left a moment ago Sadler's where we opened the constituency office in Sadler's this is the headquarters of our constituency here in St. Paul's the people of St. Paul's like the people of Sadler's like the people of constituency number six, they have never ever flirted with any other party for the last 90 years when this party was formed. And since I have been here, elected by you in 1989, 33 years ago, you have never looked at another candidate in elections. And so, you are simply the best. You are the very best, better than the rest. And so, today, as we open this constituency office for the elections of 20. In 
position from this constituency from St. Paul's. Housing. Look at the revolution in housing. The young ladies have been empowered. No longer can the men throw you out. You throw them out instead. Because you are empowered. You have your homes. But we ain't going to let it stay here. The men need to be empowered as well. And so, after this election, new houses will be built. They will be distributed to our people, including our young men here in St. Paul's and constituency number six. You have to travel every day to go to work, to go to school. Huh? $303.50 per day after 375 imagine that and you're only getting 360 dollars with the forwardness tell them douglas declared in st paul's as soon as the labor party is back in office 500 dollars minimum wage for our young ladies 500 dollars nothing less after all we have declared war on poverty and when you work it out, it is more than the $500 they are giving people on PAP. In fact, it will be over $600. My dear people, you will be further empowered in a matter of weeks. This is no time not to support labor. This is no time to look at any other party. The whole government mash up for the last three, four weeks. The government mash up. They ain't got no government. Provide employment opportunities like what we were doing there in three hotels. You don't have to go to Bastia to work no more. You will find work right here in your own constituency. For a man or hotel, more will be built on the labor. We want to empower our young people in particular. No matter where you are, no matter where you are, always talk about labor. Talk fast. Talk fast. Talk long. Talk hard. Talk last. And talk again. No, everybody shut you up. You from St. Paul. You from constituency number six. We don't make no joke with them. We are labor. So this afternoon, we declare this constituency to be labor land. Labor land. The Republic of St. Paul's is renamed. And we thank God for making this possible. We thank God for his blessings. And now we will have our pastor cut the ribbon and declare God's presence and protection over this office because wicked people are around us. Thank you.
Disappointed. And so today, dear God, even as we open this office, we are looking to you for your blessing on all those who would serve here. Lord, we pray for the blessing of wisdom to dwell among your people. We pray for the spirit of discernment that right would always prevail over evil. We pray in the name of Jesus that all the plans of the enemy would be brought to naught. And whatever is placed against this building and all those who work here, that would be aborted in the mighty name of Jesus. We are declaring that justice will prevail. We are declaring that good will conquer evil. We are declaring the blessing of growth and that your people, dear Lord, would experience, they would experience peace or your shalom in every area of their lives. We pray in the name of Jesus that your spirit would also dwell here, that when they open the office on days and coming at mornings, that among them. when things seem to be topsy-turvy, that you would be the leader and you would guide us in right ways so that, dear Lord, our people would have a government that is according to your will. We pray that your name would be glorified in all that would be taking place here. And we pray in the name of Jesus that even, dear God, even when things are over, you would still be God of our lives. We will still look to you, and you would be the one who would guide us always. Your name, your word declares, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And so as we look to you now, we pray that even when election is over, you will still be our God. We will still, dear Lord, glorify you and live for your honor and for your glory. And we pray in a very special way for the one who is leader in this constituency. 
Lord, we pray again and again that you will cover the Lord, his defenseless head, with the shadow of your wings, and that he would be preserved and he would be exalted among men, even as you place him there. And so today, dear God, we say thank you for all that shall be accomplished. Be glorified in all things we pray. And even now we say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of our great God who gives us health, who gives us strength, and who gives us the ability to be what you would have us to be. Thanks be to God for all of your unspeakable gifts. Bless your holy name. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, yes. Pastor Paul. She's my dear sister, my younger sister. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you and we will now have the dance from our young ladies who want to dance. And then we're going on to Newton Ground. We have some refreshments here for those of you of St. Paul's who will remain here. But we have a lot of refreshments in Newton Ground as well. So don't stay here and take it all. Come down to Newton Ground. Lots down there. And then the rally, the rally tonight, seven o'clock in Newton Ground. All right? No, seven I say. Nearly six already. <laughs> all right? What about what you got Show me your voting finger. Raise up the voting. I 
never met me a try out Me not sell out, me not buy out Ah, 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 who must them, them a lie out What kind of thing, them a try out Ah, 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 you think me no war Do a new airport any time me a fly out Ah, 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 when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
million dollars there But why them no ask who build all the new school And make the youth them no turn food Why them no ask who give poor people a house Instead them a run up them But tell them me and my neighbor Voting for neighbor Me and my neighbor Voting for neighbor Somebody say what
Voting for Labour. Me and my neighbor.
say love me no buy out Ah ah ah, who must them them a lie out What kind of thing them a try out Ah ah ah, you think me no I do a new airport any time me a fly out Ah ah ah, all when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
can't sell out, me no buy out Ah, 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 who must them, them a lie out What kind of thing, them a try out Ah, 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 you think me no wild Do a new airport, any time me a fly out Ah, 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 when poor people cry out Labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor Voting for labor Voting for labor Show me your voting finger. Show me your voting finger. 
in a thing, them a try out ah, You think me no walk to a new airport any time me a fly out ah, All when poor people cry out, labor party don't try out Cause me and my neighbor, voting for labor
Neon Maneba. leadership but also committed representation just as the legacy of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party runs thick to our island Dr. Douglas's legacy runs deep to constituency six his commitment to national development is the reflection of a true statesman Dr. Douglas truly believes and his actions proved that a leader should serve the country first his preoccupation with matters of states help us as proud citizens understand that by his sacred duty, development for St. Kitts and Nevis means development for constituency six. We remain unperturbed during these perilous times because the opening of these constituency offices reminds us of Dr. Douglas's legacy of devotion where he makes himself available at least once per week to meet with and offer help and advice to his constituents. We have learned throughout the years how to overcome the obstacles in our path and forge ahead regardless, to be self-reliant and resourceful, not waiting for handouts. 
Dr. Douglas has us where it matters in his heart, so we reciprocate by having his back. It is our uncanny understanding of and the charisma, humility, and wisdom of simply the best representative that keep the people of Constituency 6 devoted to labor. We here in Newton Ground are proud to be a part of such a tradition. Dr. Douglas has grown and changed with our community. He is no stranger to our needs, and his efforts to meet these needs litter our history. As supporters of the Labour Party, Douglas represents a significant symbol in our lives. He represents both a foundation of hope for the poor and a beacon of opportunity for the talented and ambitious principles and philosophies that this Labour Party was founded on made stronger with the expectation that as times change, we transform to face the demands of new days. Dr. Douglas has proven himself strong, agile, approachable, revolutionary and visionary. As our forebearers around this time in 1967 held fast and defended what is right and just, let us honor them and do the same through our support of Dr. Douglas on election day. Labor needs him, our country needs him, and Constituency 6 definitely needs Dr. Douglas. Constituents, let us welcome our devoted leader who delivers the right honorable Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas. Sandra Swanston, the chairman of the constituency sixth branch of the Labour Party executive. I want to recognize my colleagues who are here, and in particular, the deputy leader of our great party, Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, and others who are here also the others from the constituency branch of our um, Labour Party. I want to thank them all for being here and for organizing this event this afternoon, which started out in Sadler's when we opened the constituency office in Sadler's. Then we went to the headquarters office in St. Paul's, and we are now here in Newton Ground. I understand that Comrade Nocella, um, Liber, former deputy 
leader of our party is also here. My dear comrades who have come not only from this constituency, but from constituencies around the island, I really thank you for being here. I thank you for showing solidarity with the people of Newton Ground in particular, and those others of constituency number six, who again demonstrate their full commitment with the St. Kitts Davis Labour Party. As I've said in the other ceremonies so far, this constituency has never ever flirted with any other political party over the 90 years that this, this party has been founded. And so I give serious commendations because for the last 33 years, the people of Newton Ground, like the people of the other communities in this constituency, have remained firm and faithful and supportive to me, their leader. And that is why this afternoon, again, despite whatever challenges there might be, I emphasize without any shadow of a doubt that you are, you are simply the best. The only constituency which has the accolades that I've mentioned before, you are simply the best. And when I enthuse myself, when this song by Tina Turner is being sung, it's not me saying, I, Denzel Douglas, it's the best. It's the people of constituency number six, because they have never, ever swerved away from our great party. I want to thank, in particular, the young people who have brought energy into this campaign so early in its inception. I want to thank those in particular in Newton Ground who have canvassed with me over the last few weeks. Something that a lot of them had never known exactly how to do because we have never really done it seriously before. But now they are enthused and they want to be part of the canvassing teams because they are there to hear what the people themselves have to say. They are listening to the suggestions. They are dedicated to ensure that after I am no more, they will continue with that mantle of leadership and representation that the people of this constituency truly deserve and desire. I want to thank those who have understood what it meant over the last seven years to have been deprived of being the first class citizens that they were. They have been scorned upon, looked down, deprived. They have been victimized in a way that we had never seen before. We thought that Pam, under the previous administration was bad, but they have come to recognize that if they did not take back this country now, what the heck is going to happen to us here in Newton Ground and constituency number six. They have whetted their appetites with the housing revolution that was brought to them, the empowerment of our women folk in particular, they who can say, no man can drive me and my children out of a house because we fall out. They now own the keys to their own homes of empowerment. They are the ones with pride would say, let my child go on to the CFBC. Let him go off to Taiwan, to Cuba, to study. I will fend for the rest of the family while they go off from secondary school, 
to thirty level education abroad, they now can boast and say, in every household here in this constituency, there is a graduate from university or from college. They remembered what the Labour Party did for them to ensure that they did not have to pay for their students, for their children, as students at the CFBC. I said to them, we shall return that support that has been taken away from you. And that will be in a matter of weeks when Labour forms the government again. People of Newton Grove, I said to you finally, especially our farmers, you have been deprived, you have been displaced. We brought the capacity of farm just below Kittishan Hill. We brought three hotels so that you can find alternative career paths and employment opportunities. And seven years they came in, seven years ago, and they shut down everything. So nothing for you. I say everything in this country belongs to you, just as belongs to anybody in other parts of this country of ours. And so I say finally, you know what it costs you to go to Bass here to work. You know we said eventually people should come here to work at Kitty Chanel. But now, $3.75 every single day you have to pay to go to work. After all, how can you find that with $360 per week? After all, that is not possible for you to live from. I said tonight, on behalf this afternoon, on behalf of the leader of our party, on behalf of our party, that we shall give you a minimum wage of $500 yeah. so that you can make a decent living here in our country. Right. I am told that the comrade leader, Dr. Joe, is now here. Let us give him a wow for being here. Wow, wow for the comrade leader. I say, finally, finally, we shall not be in this spot anymore. Labor advises you that we shall not flirt again with any other party. Look at the pain and agony that they have brought us. Look at the pain and agony. Look at the suffering. When you ask the young people today, what's going on? They say, boss, not na do. Not na do. What that means? They don't got no job. They don't know how to feed their children. They have to pull their children out of school to go and find work. And there is no work for them. After all, not na do in this country. This afternoon, I declare here in Newton Ground, that when labor comes back into office, a lot gonna do here in Newton Ground and in number six. We shall not remain where we are. We shall move forward because we know it will be better with labor. God bless you. And we can only achieve this with the support and blessings of God. And so we will now ask our pastor to take us to that grace that throne of grace to give God thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we move into the cutting of the ribbon and the blessing of the office, we want to recognize a few persons who would have made all of this possible for the three offices. We have Henrietta Douglas, Maxine Stanley, Orvis Mills, Michelle Stanley, Darlan Connor, Longville, Matthew, Leroy Bryan, Gwyneth, Woodley, D. Francis, Cherise Woods, Antoinette French. We want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for your dedication this afternoon. And so, we move on to the cutting of the ribbon and the blessing of the Newton Brown office. Easy no extortion, easy no extortion, easy no extortion, easy no extortion, easy no extortion. Easy no extortion.
Hey, from New York to Harris's Labor people Sempers Diabetes Pasigong Salos Don't give for the people I will devoted leader Six tell me sound You know which team are the team Help mode can't take back side when you are bleed The place one better when labor lead to easily influence Come let they have no sense Do the weird is to get a forward to get the name call Come in like some of them now have no money to not book it in a next from the sins, but them say they not do. Looking for the people, a real devoted leader. Ready. He always deliver. Movement, stand firm in a saying, kiss us so we do. Oh, Father and God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son, King of kings and Lord of lords. I approach you on behalf of this office and its representative, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Dwellin Douglas, the candidate who will be representing constituency number six for the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party. Oh God, I pray that you would give an open mind to him first to look to you for godly wisdom on what are the best things to do in the interest of every member of his constituency and to listen to your voice as you respond to his plea. Help him to display wisdom in doing and placing everything in their proper priority and that they be done in their proper timing. I also pray that he be honest enough to only offer promises that he knows can be fulfilled rather than promises that would impress the minds of the citizen. May this office become a meeting place where matters of both national and personal concerns can be addressed without partisan affiliation being the basis upon which they would be respected. I would also that the persons who would address their matters would also be wise and rational. May they display patience by waiting on proper timing as well as the issues that they would demand with the understanding that just as God did not create the universe in one day, but in six days instead, even so, the politicians and government would not be able to fulfill their dreams for the nation overnight. As the Bible demands of us to wait on the Lord and be of good courage that he might give us the desires of our hearts, 
Even so, help us as the citizens of this constituency and the nation on a whole to be willing enough to wait and be courageous until the dreams of this party and constituency can be fulfilled. Should God favor it to retrieve the power to govern this country at this upcoming election in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. I close this prayer by praying, may God be honored both in their personal and political lives that they be mindful of how they conduct their moral lives and display their power. This I pray on behalf of this constituency and upon the party and a whole in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. office but a few at a time we invite you to see the constituency office we want to thank you pastor mills for your prayer thank you very much and we thank all those who would have prayed before pastor janet paul and mary brown in sadler's as well hi from new york going to harris's Labor people, Sampas, Diabe, Pasigo, Salas, Doggy for the people, a real devoted leader. He always delivers. Stand firm in a sink, he's a so it is. Doggy, a demand for no mistake. Doggy for the people. Number six told me, son, you know which team are the team. Help mode can't help backside when you are bleed. The place one better when labor lead to easily influence. Come in like they have no sense. Do the weirdest is to get a forward to get the name called. In a book it in a next yard Make a letter fast for me sis What them say they not do Looking for the people A real devoted leader Ready He always delivers Stand firm in a sink It's a so it is Don't hear the man for number six Looking for the people Hi, from New York going to Harris's Labor people, Sampas, Diabe, Pasigo, Salas, Doggy for the people. Six, 
Don't give for the people 